Welcome back everyone to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. So I've got another unboxing of the Wise Cam. Now <laughs> I do have a new one. This is the new version too in the black. Um, just kind of wanted to, I'm not doing an unboxing video because there's tons of those that on the internet. Um, but I did kind of want to show you um, the camera itself. Um, just, you know, the new looks of it. I decided to go with the black. These are, uh, I've gotten two of these now. And uh, so far, I like the one that I have set up. It's uh, the quality is just like the uh, the, the other ones. Um, but the good thing is, it's in this nice black case now, so it doesn't stand out quite as bad. Still has the same magnets, um, connection on the bottom, reset, micro SD card. Everything is pretty much the same on this. You even get the power adapter. Um, comes in black same length cord so you even get the, the metal plate like I said everything is the same except in black but um, I wanted to use one of these outside and where I'm wanting to put it I don't have a receptacle so one of the questions I had was you know people were saying uh, you can look at the current draw uh, from the specs um, but I've got this USB um, meter, voltage meter, and what I want to do is I want to set this camera up, and I'm going to let it run for an hour. I want to see how much it's actually drawing, um, because I want to see how long, if I got a, a battery pack and added this to it, could I put it in a birdhouse and put it outside monitoring a driveway or something, somewhere that's not close to a, a, um, a plug-in, and see how long it'll last. So that's why I said this isn't a typical unboxing video. I'm not going to show you how to set it up or anything because those directions are out there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it set up. I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to let it run for an hour. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to see actually how many milliamps are on there. All right, so I have the camera plugged in and it looks like it's steady in at 0.16 to 0.2 amps. So we're going to let it run for an hour. You can see it's reset. It's pulled uh, one-tenth of a milliamp there. So uh, let's let it run for one hour. I'm going to walk by the camera just to make sure there's movement in front of it so it kind of simulate the, uh, you know, outdoors, somebody driving by or walking by. So I'm going to come in and move the camera around just to make sure it's picking up movement. And let's just see what it does. And uh, one hour, we'll come back and give you the results. So here's the results after the one hour of testing. As you can see, I mean, it's flashing now, but I'll put it up here on the screen, a picture that I took right at the one hour mark. You can see it consumed almost 300 milliamp hours in that uh, one hour. So what can we conclude from this? Um, you know, if you think about uh, some of the portable battery backups, I've seen some out there, you know, with about 20,000 uh, milliamp hours. And putting a battery like that on this device would uh, get you about two and a half days probably. Uh, maybe a little longer if you put the sensitivity down and there's not as much movement. Um, but this is just going to kind of give you an idea of, of what it takes to run one of these. And if you do want to put it on a, a battery uh, backup and just do some portable use with it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. Thanks and have a great day.